Hey guys, welcome to another installment of Exploring Briarwood. Today we are back in the South Central. So these are the cities that make up about halfway over on the grid system in the easterly direction, uh, but in the southern half. And we're all the way down south in a town called Grey Ghost. And you can see some progress being made on the venues down in Grey Ghost. This uh, is called the Tesla Center. This is based on Ball Arena, formerly the Pepsi Center in Denver, which is home to the Colorado Avalanche uh, and the Denver Nuggets. This uh, is home to the Grey Ghost Wolfmen and the Grey Ghost Sacrifice. Uh, it'll be a full arena. I mean, what else are you going to call it other than that? But uh, I don't have anything fitted inside the rink space itself yet. I might do concert. Uh, I haven't quite decided yet what I want to do because I already have a, a boxing ring set up. I already have a wrestling ring set up. Um, so we'll see what I want to actually f outfit in there once the arena is getting close to completion. Over here is Boeing Park. Now this is based on London Stadium in East London. If you need me to clarify where London is, um, it's the capital of England. You, you might have heard of it. Anyways, it, uh, London Stadium is the home of... West Ham United. It was also the home of the 2012 uh, Summer Olympic Games, but it's also been the home of the uh, the MLB London series. So the baseball series that the MLB has done um, on and off the last couple seasons. They started it in 2019. Of course, they had to postpone it um, due to a, a thing that happened with the world for a couple years, and then they restarted it this year. It's it's planned to resume. I can't remember if it's next year or the year after it, but they're hoping to eventually do it every year. Um, but because of that idea, I decided to make a, a three-team multi-purpose stadium out of uh, what is based on the London Stadium in England. So uh, this is home to the Grey Ghost. Ooh. Oh, man. Phantoms, for sure. Uh, Grey Ghost FC. And then the football team is called the Grey Ghost. Oh, boy. I'm going to have to look at my chart. Don't make me look at my chart. I hate when I have to pull out the chart. Grey Ghost. Baseball team's called the Phantoms. Uh, the Elders. Grey Ghost Elders is the American football team. Obviously, right now, it's set up for baseball. I haven't quite finished the infield. But uh, as you've heard me say in videos before, Circles are a lot harder to build in Minecraft than straight lines. So this one's going to take a while. Eventually, there will be another deck for box seats, which will be a full circle, and then uh, another upper deck, which will also be a circle. So this stadium will probably take the longest time to build of any single venue, uh, including the Delta Coliseum up in Greenhaven. So stay tuned for that. This is not expected to be finished anytime soon, but I am making progress on it. We are slowly making our way around, not just the primary directions, we are slowly working our way around to a full circle. So now that Grey Ghost is out of the way, let's head northward. And I believe next in line northward is going to be Walderville. And I'll correct myself if I'm wrong. My geography with the south still isn't solid. I mentioned in the last video, the last time we were in um, the South Central, and I've mentioned it on a couple videos, I like how each town is starting to get its own feel. Uh, each one has kind of its own specific color design, whether it be a, a specific block I'm using or a specific color scheme to the buildings that I'm going to use for all of them. Um, and so each city feels distinct. I can typically remember all the teams that play there, um, except of course the uh, Grey Ghost Elders, but um, when it comes to where the towns are actually positioned in relation to each other, that's when I get fairly confused still. So hopefully the way to fix that is by making these train routes a little more distinct, adding some flair to the outside of the tracks, and then of course going between station to station once we finally get those stations built. Uh, I do have the stations planned now, which I haven't had uh, in previous videos, but going forward after we get the stadiums really up and running, not quite detailed in completion, but that's when I'm hoping to kind of buckle down and do a little more of these, um, the train station aspect of things. So we are up in Walderville. Over here, this one, I believe is called Chase Park. Let me double check, make sure that's right. Um, we're in Walderville, and where's Walderville on my chart here? No, this one's called State Farm Field, so I actually got that wrong. I might flip these because I mentioned incorrectly in a past video uh, when I'm playing baseball against the Walderville Celts 
that I called their stadium Chase Park. That is incorrect. This one is called State Farm Field. Unless I flip them, I might end up flipping them just for that sake. But this is based on Comerica Park in Detroit. That's where the Tigers play. Um, it's fairly uniform in its design. You can kind of see a little uh, difference in the way that the outfield is set up. But the for the most part, it's fairly mirrored on either side. Uh, it's got a big center field structure with cars up top because Detroit, being the Motor City and whatnot, has this big center field car sculpture. Um, but I have flipped the outfields like I do with all of my ballparks. This uh, has a lot of progress to go on it. Obviously, I don't have the outfields even complete, so there's nothing really to look at. But this, like I said, State Farm Field, potentially changing the name to Chase Park. Uh, but the actual Chase Park is over here, and that is the football and soccer stadium. So this is home to the Wallerville Terrapins. Uh, and Wallerville, I think it's just Wallerville FC. Let me double check that. Yes, Walderville FC is the soccer team. So uh, this is based on BMO Field in Toronto. It's home to the Toronto Argonauts of the CFL as well as uh, Toronto FC of the MLS. It's got this big structure on both sides, very large side stands. And then it's got fairly small ends. But one thing to note that you won't see here, feel free to look it up at the actual BMO Field, is it's got this very cool canopy that just kind of sits very, very high above um, one of these end sections. So um, it has no right being as high off of the section as it is. It basically matches up with how high the canopy is on the sides. And so it it gives this very weird feel to one of these end zone sections. And we'll get there once we finally build that end section. But like I said, this is uh, Chase Park, potentially State Farm Field, uh, which is home to the Walderville Terrapins as well as Walderville FC, I should say. And then over here is the arena. This is called Gucci Place. Now, originally I wanted to base this off of Wimbledon, um, just to have it kind of feel different than a typical arena. And then I looked at some pictures of Wimbledon, and I looked at pictures of Rod Laver Arena, uh, which is home to uh, the Australian Open. And I wasn't, I, I love the outsides of them, so I will probably use some of their design elements in the exterior of this building but the inside of the arena itself isn't that fascinating. But one thing I am fascinated by when it comes to tennis uh, is Arthur Ashe Stadium in Queens, which is where the US Open is held. Um, and I was watching the, the finals this year of the US Open, both the men's and women's, and I just, I love how tall it is. And this doesn't feel as tall. Um, I shrunk it down a little bit just for size consistency, but it's got kind of this doubled lower deck here artificial navy seats that's as close as you can get to navy in the game really um and then it's got kind of a club section here or a box section rather and then a double upper deck so um about as close between the the different grand slam tennis venues as we're gonna get uh this is called gucci place and it is it is home excuse me to the walderville canaries hockey team and the walderville elks so let's head back to walderville station here the so far unbuilt Walderville Station, as all of them are. And we will head north now to the final city on our journey today, that being up in Shrive. Now, I've, I've made a little progress on Shrive. I'm kind of proud of the progress that we're making. Shrive, I mentioned in a past video, is one of the more unique architectural cities when it comes to the stadium designs. I've chosen very unique stadiums to base uh, these venues off of, specifically the ones that I have really progressed on so far so the one that's not very doesn't have a lot of progress on it right now is uh the target arena i think i called it um that's a replication of the Pfizer forum in milwaukee home of the bucks i've changed the seats to blue instead of uh the dark green that they have at Pfizer forum oh my gosh now i'm second guessing myself are they green or are they black I feel like I always have this conundrum when I think of Pfizer Forum. Anyways, uh, the seats are blue, and you'll see that on the right side here. So let's check that out first. Like I said, this is kind of the, in terms of the interior architecture of this arena, um, the least interesting of the three that I've chosen. So um, not a lot of progress. I don't have any like ends or sides completed, but you just see the bones of what will eventually be Target Arena uh, right here. 
It is home to the Shrive Bulls and the Shrive... What's the ba basketball team called? Shrive... Oh, man. Going to have to use my chart again. I hate when I do this. The Shrive Riders. That's probably why. It's not a very you, it's not a very distinct name or catchy name, in my opinion. Over here is Pepsi Field, though. This is one of those... We've been here before. This is Shrive's most distinct building. Uh, it's based on Tropicana Field. I decided to leave it outdoor for now. No progress has been made since the last time we were here, so we'll just briefly touch on it. Um, the dugouts have not been literally dug out yet. The party sections have not been party sectioned yet. Uh, there you see the outfield. I've added the scoreboard and the batter's eye building slash structure. Uh, there's that tank full of salmon right there. But it's it maintains the circular shape of Tropicana Field but it's outdoors, so it adds that much weirder of a look to this venue. Uh, and when it's finished, it'll look that much more bizarre. But over here, uh, progress has been made, especially on this end zone, as you can see. Um, this is HP Park. So this is based on Lumen Field in Seattle. It's home of the Shrive Penguins football team, as well as Shrive 94, the soccer team. I don't have any of the ends done, so the unique... Um, it's based on Lumen Field, I should say, home of the, the Seattle Seahawks and Seattle Sounders FC. Uh, it doesn't have the unique big arched sides, but it does have the unique triangle end here, which will look a little less bizarre once these sides are added. It, it feels very naked right now in its design. But then on this side is the kind of the lesser known, um, oh gosh, which end? I can't remember which is south and which is north um, on the actual stadium, but uh, the, the lesser known end, I should say, of Lumen Field is over here. It's got um, a very large lower deck and then a double tier box section and then a lower clubbish section. It's basically a double upper deck here uh, and then a big plaza up top here. Um, I believe this is the plaza where they fly the 12th man flag. Don't quote me on that. I'm not a Seahawks fan. I should also mention it's home to uh, the Seattle Sea Dragons of the XFL. Go XFL. Um, but this is Shrive. So those are the three towns that make up the South Central. There will be more progress made uh, the next time we come around here in a few months. So stay tuned for that. We do weekly updates on all of these cities. Um, not each city per week, but all of these worlds. There's 27 cities and we update uh, each area of the world every week, typically Sunday mornings, 11 Eastern, 8 Pacific. So stay tuned for next week's update. For now, this has been the South Central, and we will see you very, very soon.